Hey everyone, Steven from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for NFL Week 2, Monday Night Football between the Tennessee Titans and the Buffalo Bills on Monday, September 19th, 2022. We're going to have NFL player prop spreads over-unders here for you today. We're going to have three picks that make a great value bets for this Monday Night Football game between the Titans and the Bills. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we are partnered with Prize Picks, so be sure to use our code SFP for a 100% deposit match and your first deposit up to $100 on Prize Picks. You can also use one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and in the description. Really, it's a great app, guys. They specialize in player props and things of that nature. You can bet just about anything on Prize Picks. Really, is a lot of fun to use. Like I said, they're running that special promo right now. 100% deposit match up to $100 on your first deposit. So, uh, really, is a great uh, thing to take advantage of. And like I said, you can bet and just bet anything on Prize Picks, bet on esports, all sorts of stuff. I have a lot of fun using that app. So, highly recommend that to you. Again, use our code SFP uh, for 100% deposit match or one of our links that we have down below. Be sure to also check out our community Discord page as well. Great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description for that. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include a pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now it's time for a shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So as always, guys, you see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. If you're interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there's a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description for that as well. It's a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. It's just $3.99 per month. You get a badge next to your name, some custom emojis, shout outs on our videos, roll color in the Discord, um, and access to our picks early. So whenever I'm done with the picks, basically I post them up, um, and then you'll have access to them um, in the community tab on YouTube for our Street Fire MVP. So just a perk you can take advantage of. Uh, whether you sign up or not, though, I appreciate all of you guys here at the channel. It's just another little thing that we have. So anyway, let's get right into the results from the previous episode. So these are results from Thursday Night Football. We do not have results from our Sunday Night, app or Sunday night Football game. Or our Sunday afternoon games. I'm recording this during all that stuff. So from Thursday night, though, we ended up going two and one. Uh, very so actually, I already went over the results in the Sunday night episode. Scratch that, reverse it. You guys know we went two and one if you followed the Sunday night football video. So uh, we're on a seven and two run here in the NFL. Uh, so let's keep that rolling here. Um, like I said, I don't know how we're gonna do on Sunday. We'll see uh, what happens. Uh, didn't have any callouts, but uh, other than that, let's get right into our picks here for today, guys. At number one. We are going with Derrick Henry, under 87 and a half rushing yards here for the Tennessee Titans. Minus 114 odds here on FanDuel. So guys, Derrick Henry here has gone under in his last four games he's played with totals of 82, 62, 68, and 86. He's averaging just three yards per carry. Honestly, he's really struggled, um, especially since coming back from the injury that he's had, where he had a metal plate and screws put into his foot. Uh, so obviously... He's not as explosive as he used to be. He's still a pretty big dude, but if you guys saw him last week, he got absolutely laid out by a New York Giants player. And, you know, you could theorize by why that happened, because you, you almost never see that happen to this guy. Um, he's normally the one delivering the hits. And it's like, it makes me wonder about his balance and uh, how much weight he's actually able to put on his foot and his movement, um, and if he's lost a step. And honestly, it looked that way last week uh, against the Giants. Um, you know, and the Giants, you know, aren't particularly like the greatest, you know, run defending team. So it's surprising not to see him go off. I think definitely that could be playing a role um, as far as, you know, his play. And he's going up against a very tough Bills defense who's gotten much better versus the run. Uh, the Bills held the Rams last week to 18 carries, 52 yards. That's less than three yards per carry allowed. Um, and they look great. They're uh, DVOA. Uh, they were number one in week one in that. Um, so, you know, that basically gives the idea how good their defense was um, and how it was graded in week one. They were very dominant up front, particularly on the defensive line. They go very deep. Now, Ed Oliver is going to be out for this game for the Buffalo Bills. However, they're still very deep on the defensive line with Jordan Phillips, Greg Russo, um, Von Miller. Um, now I'm just, I'm scratching names now off the top. But they, they go very deep. Daquan Jones. Uh, but they're very deep there on the defensive line. They have a lot of guys that can get it done. If you notice last week, they are rotating like six, seven guys in on the defensive line. All very capable of getting it done, right? And Panasa, um, the names are all coming back to me now. Uh, but obviously, they're very good up front. Um, I expect that to continue here. Titans, 
Honestly, I could see them trailing in this game. Bills are 10-point favorites, which means they may be forced to abandon the run. Uh, they may find themselves down by a lot in this game. We'll see what happens, but uh, they may have to abandon the running game. Um, and obviously, if that happens, you know, Henry, I don't think we get anywhere close to, you know, 88 yards rushing or nothing like that. But we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, I love this Bills defense here at home. It is the home opener, so I also have that excitement here at home. So, expected a big performance here from the Bills in Week 1 and the run defense. We're going Derrick Henry, under 87.5 rushing yards here for the Tennessee Titans. Minus 114 odds on FanDuel. Okay, and at number 2, we're going with Stephon Diggs. Anytime touchdown scorer here for the Buffalo Bills. Plus 115 odds here on BetMGM. Guys, Stephon Diggs, if you actually go back through his game logs here in the regular season... He's caught a touchdown in nine out of his last 13 regular season games. That's the type of consistency we love to see. We know him and Josh Allen have a very special connection on and off the field. Uh, so I can easily see them hooking up here in the end zone. We also got a starting cornerback here down for the Tennessee Titans there in Christian Fulton. Uh, one of their better cornerbacks is going to be out. And their secondary is pretty young already. You know, they're starting corners that were all drafted in 2020 plus. Uh, so not a lot of experience there back for our cornerbacks for the Titans. Um, so honestly, I could see Diggs, you know, taking advantage of that. And I think Josh Allen, it's hard to bet against him right now. I think Josh Allen's going to have a big game. I also think Stephon Diggs is going to go over in receiving yards as well. He's done that his last two times versus the Titan, including catching a touchdown um, in one of those two games. So his last two games here versus the Titans, 19 catches, 195 yards, a touchdown here. So the last two times he's played him. So I expect to see more of that. Um, I think the Bills, honestly, are going to have a lot of success through the air. Allen's, I'm looking for him to cash his over as well. Um, I don't want to fall in love with too many props, but obviously I do love a lot of Bills overs for this game, especially being at home. I think they'll start the season right. Now, this tight secondary coming into the season was ranked 11th on ProFootballFocus.com, but again, they cited their youth. Uh, which is definitely a concern here. And like I said, one of their cornerbacks, Fulton, is out. So that's definitely going to make a difference here. Um, and we also got Gabe Davis here for the Bills, questionable, which, you know, could lead to Allen relying on Diggs a little bit more. Uh, without Davis on the field, he could be looking at Diggs way more. He, he's already going to be looking his way a lot. Um, and I'm looking for him to find the end zone here, especially for plus value. So a little there for our number two pick. We're going Stephon Diggs, anytime touchdown score here for the Buffalo Bills, plus 115 odds on that MGM. Okay, and finally, at our number three pick, we are going with the Buffalo Bills. Minus four and a half, second half spread versus the Titans. Minus 110 odds on FanDuel. So why am I taking this? Um, well, for one, the spread for the game is 10 points. I'm just not comfortable laying 10 points on the Bills. I think they will cover. I really do. Uh, but I like the second half a little bit more. Um, the Bills, since the start of 2021, have covered the minus four and a half spread in the second half. And 13 out of their last 18 games. That's really good. 13 and 5 covering the spread in the second half over the last 18 regular season, over the last 18 games. Uh, which obviously we'd love to see that. Um, or rather, <laughs> last 18 regular season games. <laughs> I believe they're 1 and 1 in the playoffs. So they are 14 and 6 in the last 20 overall. So uh, obviously that's very good. That's something that we can get behind. Last week was no different. We saw the Bills win 21 nothing in the second half versus the Rams. It's 10-10 at the half. Bills won 31, won the game 31 to 10. So they're, you know, they can make some adjustments here at the half. I like that they could do that. They cleaned up the turnovers last week in the second half. Um, so you know, they could start a little bit sloppy. They could play with their food a little bit, and then in the second half, they really have been known to turn it up. And obviously, the 13 and five kind of speaks for itself. Uh, whether they're leading by a lot at half, they still cover this line a lot, or whether they're behind. So that's why I like. Um, you know, like I said, last week you saw the Bills kind of got off to a slow start. It was 10-10 at the half. They turned the ball over a lot. Uh, so, you know, maybe the energy and the stuff could backfire on them. They, they're a little too cocky, and they maybe, you know, start with some turnovers, something like that. I wouldn't mind the Titans covering the first half and, you know, maybe the Bills even trailing at halftime. That would be awesome uh, for our bet. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But uh, I do love this Bills team, though, guys. They are first in the power rankings. You'll see in pretty much all the power rankings that you see. Titans ranked about 17th. So in the back half of football, we saw the Titans lose, obviously, last week to the Giants. Saquon Barkley ran all over them, um, and the Giants won that game. So honestly, guys, I don't think the Titans are honestly going to be that great this year. I think they're going to get knocked off the wagon um, as the AFC South winner, which is a bold prediction because if you've watched some teams in the AFC South, you'd be like, I still think, 
you know, Titans will have a shot. I think the Jaguars are going to surprise people. So, you know, obviously I think the Jags are going to end up being a pretty good football team. We'll see what happens over Doug Peterson. But this Titans team is going to take a step back. Obviously, Derrick Henry is not quite the same player he used to be, not quite as dominant. Like I said, last four games he's gone under. He has not been the same running back. And like I said, if you saw him get planted last week, you know, you kind of have an idea about that. Um, and then, you know, in the passing game, Ryan Tannehill losing one of his best targets there, A.J. Brown, and he lost Julio Jones in the offseason. So, obviously, their, you know, passing game is definitely a little bit more uninspiring without those guys, particularly A.J. Brown, though. Um, and like I said, I do love this Bills team. And, uh, you know, with, you know, Christian Fulton also being out for the Titans as well, I do think they're going to really struggle with this Buffalo team. I don't see them covering any spread. I see the Bills covering first half, second half, full game. I love second half the best because I think it's where the best value is. The first half spread is minus six. Um, so I'd rather take, you know, an extra point and a half here for the second half, minus four and a half. Um, and the full game, obviously, is minus ten. So I think you could take minus ten and be fine with that. Uh, but I also think uh, I like the second half the best. Uh, just in case the Bills start slow, uh, we'll have a little bit more value in the second half. So... Do love it there, guys, for our number three pick. We're going Buffalo Bills, minus four and a half. Second half spread here versus the Tennessee Titans, minus 110 odds here on FanDuel. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Guys, I appreciate all of you guys here at the channel. I really do. We're going to be running a live stream, actually, for this game, um, beginning around 7 or so, I want to say. Uh, this game is starting earlier here on Monday Night Football, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. So we're going to have a lot of fun just hanging with the community and, um, you know, seeing if our bets cash and having a lot of fun. Had a really good Monday night last Monday. We went 3-0 on our picks. I'm hoping for another one of those. Obviously, that would be very nice. Um, I'm going to get to watch my Bills play. So obviously, I got the Bills stuff in the background. Really pumped up about it, guys. Uh, so let's get after it. Let's cash in these bets. Let's cash your bets as well. Let me know what you're playing. Other than that, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you next time. Peace out.